Today I'm going to be showing you all the cool and amazing aspects of the Polish culture. What I'm very excited to share with you guys. The first thing I wanted to share with you guys is the food. The food is completely different in the Polish culture. Like massively different. Like compared to any other culture, it's no comparison at all whatsoever. The main three things the Polish eat for like every day and main use is pork, meat, and bread. Like that's, that's the main things they eat every day. And back in the day, when bread used to fall on the ground, this was back, I don't know, hundreds of years ago, they used to think it was a sin. So what they would do, would they would if it, any bread dropped on the ground at any time, they would pick it up, they would kiss the bread, and they would make a cross out of it. What I thought was like kind of crazy, because I've never heard anything like that in my life before, so I thought that was a crazy cultural aspect. And another thing about the food, and an awesome thing, is that they certain days of the week, um, on the fa they call Fat Thursday and Shrove Tuesday. They normally they everybody there eats Polish donuts. It's like a tradition. Fat Thursdays and Shrove Tuesdays is the days everybody eats donuts. What I thought was really cool because that's like I was saying is like every like the whole country comes together and eats donuts on those days. And I thought that was really really interesting. Another huge cultural aspect I've noticed in like what's a massive difference is um the infrastructure the infrastructure is completely different there like just like the, the amount of castles they have is insane they have over 500 castles there and they're all standing today and in good condition what i thought was crazy pretty much all the castles they made there was hundreds of years ago and the way they've made it is insane because it's still lasting some of these castles are 800 900 years old and they're still in great condition today so i can't imagine the the, the work they must have put in that back in the day and the material they might have used so it's to be in good, good condition today is crazy i would never i i look at many other cultures in many different places and poland doesn't like you'll never find castles what's 800 900 years old and still in great condition what i thought was really cool and if you go there Every single Polish, pretty much all the Polish people know the Malbrook Castle. It's the most famous castle in Poland. And it was made by the Tectonic Knights. What I thought was awesome. Like when I think of knights, like riding on horses all black, like that sounds real cool to me. And it was made 900 years ago. Like one of the most oldest castles in Poland. And it's like great condition. You can go there any day, any tourist there. It's still in perfect condition. So I thought that was really cool. Like Tectonic Knights made that. And a lot of Polish people know about that. A major, another major cultural difference is the lifestyles there. The lifestyle there is like no comparison to here. They don't have any air conditioning there. What I thought, I thought was like kind of strange at the same time. Cause like, how don't you live with any air conditioning? But it never really gets as hot as it does over here. So it's not as, not as big of an issue. And another thing is, I found out because my mom was growing up in Poland for 25 years, and her whole life there, they never, they never dried clothes in the dryer. They always hung it up on outside. And it wasn't because you couldn't get a dryer with like it wasn't available. It was because everyone thinks there that if you if you hang your clothes and dry it in the fresh air in the sun, it's a lot better, it's a lot healthier, and it's a lot fresher for you than drying it in in a in a dryer. What I thought was really cool because I, I dry out some of my clothes outside and some of my bed sheets outside and the fresh air is, you know, a lot different than, you know, the if you if you dry it in a in a dryer. But that was my three main biggest differences is the lifestyle, the infrastructure, and um, the food. Those are the three biggest differences, the cultural differences I could find between any culture and anything compared to Poland. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked the cultural differences. Thank you.